okay so this has been my mind for a while and i've really wanted to tell you this what is it i used to have a cross on you a year ago yo hey hey marco you should take it hello everyone welcome to a new video yep this is doki doki triple trouble uh yeah my friend actually made this game um his name is jaclyn gaming uh, go check him out his channel will be down in the description um, uh, yeah i literally was very excited to play this mod i've been actually waiting for this for a while and um, and i'm just excited i don't, I don't know what to say and uh, yeah it's, well let's start because yeah and uh, the mod is going to be down in the description if you want to install it so yeah let's go new game uh, let's enter on you know as usual marco let's go august 29th first week of senior year the warm late summer sun caresses my face I watched an orange leaf slowly f fall from the nearby tree as I sat down on this decrepit wooded bench. I can't believe this is my last year at this place. Where has the time gone? Wants to get away from the melancholic thoughts of graduating. I get off the bench and decide to make my way into the school building. And I, I have to make. Sh Wait, hold on. I need to see something. Sense remote. Wait, did I put sensor mode on? Wrap, wrap up. Full frontal. Uh, I think it's wrapped up, I believe. Yeah. Anyway. Let's, let's continue. Wanted to get away from... Oh, wait, I already read that. <laughs> Suddenly, my brooding is interrupted by a fun-sized pink-haired girl. Who's choosing to block my path? Hey, uh, the funny muncher. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is amazing. Stunned by her brazenness, I'm mad with the life, live, yeah, live lightness that I try to hang onto as much as possible. Starting off the year strong, huh? Oh, please, we both know you to be great at it. I sigh and roll my eyes at her. Lackluster attempt to provoke a reaction from me. What do you want, Asuki? The cum she homework? The cum she. I don't even know I'm saying that right. The cum she homework. I can't help but smile as I pull out my phone to share the doc committed with her. It's been a year and years still pulling the same crap. You're never gonna change, are you? Asuki. Punches my arm with a strange that I described as above average, especially from a girl her size. You've got a problem with that? I know you will like your girls with some spice. Damn it, Sayori. I try to block her, but she grabs my arm and looks at me nidly. What's up? She holds her arms out, opening her heart to me. Really? Dude, don't make me overthink this, or else you won't get it. Once I glance later, I start resisting and let her take me in. She grips me tightly, almost like she's not used to hugging someone in the first place. In a moment of weakness, I whisper out a thought that that's been begging to leave my cranium. I could get used to this. Not over here. Oh, Kazuya. Surprised by the familiar voice, Natsuki releases her grip on me and quickly heads towards the voice. Hey, babe. Who? Who is this guy? This guy looks kinda sus. I gotta stop saying sus. Oh my god. Honestly. What the hell? Kazuya. Hey Kazuya. How are you doing, Marco? I'm chilling, I guess. The two lean into each other. Now look on at the curious side of a loving smooth. What are you doing? Worrying about him. I'm right here. Sorry, Nat. Don't blame him, he can't tell how pretty I am. Bruh. The fa 
<laughs> okay, why am I laughing now? The faces of confidence is it, it's so, uh, as I still a, a laugh from the recently called up, called up couple. You are indeed quite handsome, Marco. Any chance I get to set my eyes on you, I cherish it. Uh, I, uh, I don't know if I'm handsome. Um, do I look handsome? I, I don't know. Uh, well, I wish. Thank you, thank you. And not thank you. Anyway, Nat, I'll see you doing lots. Tots. Oh, what, 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 what does that mean? <laughs> Also gives Kazuya an extremely tight hug, even giving a built man like him a hard time. With a quick peck goodbye, Kazuya stalls away with an axe to a pep in a, his tap after getting some sweet loving from Natsuki. Good for him, I guess. She strays away from my side, as figuring out where to go now takes up my mind. Margo, huh? She, stand, she stands by the school's large in troop. Entryway, holding the door open. Ladies first. Are you saying you're not a lady? Natsuki, use your brain. Use your brain to think what you you gonna say. And then use that brain. I forgot. Natsuki redeems up and violently snaps her head away from me. Just go in, you big dummy. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. That's what he said. Your wish. Honestly, that animation is amazing. Oh my god. Good job, Jay. Just, just, just good job. I, I don't have any words. Like, that's like the. Um, I can't speak today. My god. I think that's like the most perfect animation I ever seen before. <laughs> what is moment 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 cuz I is she is she sleepy? Uh, probably I'm going to find out. Surprise. The club is filled with a colorful party, decorations and a cute cupcake sh shaped cake. I'm Stunned by the overwhelming f flood of affection, but I accepted the re reality, <laughs> you guys. However, a thought occurs to me. What's this for? We're celebrating your own one year's love anniversary. <laughs> so you're here, ride or die. <laughs> What's with the banners, though? I don't get why they're in Japanese. This was a last-minute thing. Eh? Eh? <laughs> I to use the leftover banners from Kirchner Day. Marco, what the hell was that freaking voice? I mean, laugh. You did. What the hell? But hey, at least they're colorful. Yeah, I can give you that, sorry. Guess what else? You've ever got a special guest who's calling in? Is that right? Have I really been in the club for a year? Give or take a few months. Monica, I'll... Him. Wait, what? Oh no, I, I did not have to probably it now. I feel like that's Lars mar margin of error. Margin of error? Ah, Sorry if, if I'm spelling it wrong, because some words I literally can't spell, and probably some words I don't know. So, I'm uh, sorry. Shut up and eat the cake, man. We don't have all day. She puts her phone on a hook. Bag to most likely check a filled out calendar. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Is that the bag you got for her bag then? Yes, yes it is. Money. Slowly turning her head to me, she cuts one on quite quickly on what we're commenting about. By the way, Marco, love the bag. It's got some great craftsmanship. And for some awkward smile on true gritted teeth. I'm glad you like it. Her devilish giggle stabs my heart, reminding me of her cruel rejection. If she ever smiles to me, I will be scared. I mean, I love Monica. I know Monica is my wife, uh, but see, see smiling like that—that that makes you a big. 
That would be creepy. Don't look so disheartened. It's been three years. We're friends now, right? Monica all stresses her arms trying to invite me for a hug. Come on, Marco. Water under the bridge. Bruh. I blankly stare at her with a half open eyes, hopefully stabbing her the same way she stabbed me. Don't be like that. Like, get real, Marco. You're not exactly Prince Charming. Would anyone really be into you? Yes, they will be into me since, uh,. I'm a forgettable I'm a forgettable person, so actually that that doesn't work like that, hold on. <laughs> my stare is broken as my bloodness dissipates into the stale classroom air. Hey, don't say that. I was into him. Was yeah Monica I get it, I suck. Monica annoyed it looks away with a guilt writing all over her, almost like she had accidentally killed a mouse. Sayori pins her arm, forcing her to focus her back to back on me. I'm sorry, Marco. That was uncalled for. Um. Well, duck you too. You know you're a duck. Suck it up. Anyway, the cake, please. I've got to go attend a meeting with my dad in about 30 minutes, so I can't be here for long. It's your fault for peeling up on internships. Kiss my 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 tomatoes, Marco. Wait, wait. She have balls. Don't treat him with a good time, honey. So you giggles impatiently before attacking the food in front of her. Monica stops her godless assault in its tracks, keeping the sweet monster at bay. Monica reads for the cupcake shaped and cake and starts cutting up small slices for each of us. She so places them onto the paper plates that were so gra graciously, graciously, I think is that spread, set on the desk nearby. Digging in, the obvious question comes to everyone's mind, but only idea to ask it. Seeing that this cake was obviously not made by either of you failed bakers, where's Natsuki? Of course you'd ask about her, you love Strock Bunny. Where's his friends? Like we wear his friends. That's it that's different. Definitely. Marco's got a crush. Grow up, Monica. The girl has a good laugh out of my expense. When I stuff my mouth with a cake that will never be mine. She's got a boyfriend in any case, Kazuya of all people. To out of all my Sloppy seconds, he's probably one of the best ones. Wait, the two of you dated? No, he's tried to make it happen. The same way Marco did, actually. You just love shooting down guys, don't you? Marco goes out a set of finger guns and shoots all remains of my personal security into the air. Bang bang! I make a sport of it. You've got it so you've got it so mean, money. Uh, I'm pretty sure Marco's into it. He like he likes girls with a bit of spice to them, right? Why is where is everyone getting this information? Um, actually, it was Bob. Bob said this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the comment people be typing a comment like, "Who's who the hell is Bob?" Sawyer so focuses all of her attention onto her slice of cake, making sure to not make direct eye contact with him. I'll show you that is confidence. I was Sayori the whole time. Sayori, how dare you? I'm gonna do the funny thing what happened to the original game, right? Hehe. <laughs> Suddenly Sayori's tablet rings out with a sh soothing tone exciting Sayori while she reads for it. Seems our special guest is calling in. Pressing the pickup button, she placed the tablet on the desk in front of us and it grows quietly on us all. Hey Yuri. Say hi guys. Yo Yuri. Hey Yuri. Yuri even when smiles away is obviously flustered by all the detention. <laughs> detention. Okay, she she got all the detention. Marco can't spell. 
all the attention we're giving her. She tries her best to smile and address us properly. Hello, people. Beauty, uh, a colorway. <laughs> it's great to see you all again. It's great to see you too, Yuri. No, I haven't anything else to do. Marco, hello. Happy club anniversary, was it? That's what they're calling it. It's a good name. It sure is, I'm sorry. So, how's Uni treating you, Yuri? It's a new experience, to say the least. It's refreshing to not be burdening to anyone. You were never burdening, Yuri. Never feel that way. Okay? Of course. It's nice to hear Sayuri say that and feel like it, it applies to herself. I subtly punch her on the arm and then pull her into a loving one, one arm hug. She leans into me, rubbing her familiar roof onto me with a smile. Oh, it seems that the two of you have gone back together. Quickly, Sayuri and I split back up and try to fix up the press. Perception of our relationship. That's nice. No, no. Where's this? There's this. Oh, there's this. Good, good, bad. Obviously, idiots. It's nice to see that no one has changed. Wow, burn. Sayo and I can't speak up as we publicly put on, put on blast. The nostalgia for the old days is already brewing over me. I suspect you all will feel the same way when you eventually reach this stage of your lives. Which reminds me, have all of you made your plans for your anniversary? Monica perks up at the question and begins uh, renting out her entire step-by-step -step plan for her post- wait, oh my god, post-secondary education. I turn out Monica's insanely precise ramblings. You don't have to do that. My attention is stolen by the hidden conversation being had by a very familiar voice in the hallway. Are you sure? I was just trying to let out some of my feelings, you idiot. Alright, alright, you don't need to be so aggressive. Can you call me when you get home? Whatever. Trouble in paradise, it seems. <gasps> he said a thing! He said a thing! He said a thing! <laughs> okay, that's not exactly the, the name of the game mod, but still. It's trouble. An erupting sense of twisted satisfaction reveals itself in me. Focusing back on the call, I see Yuri slowly being put to sleep by Monica's incessant rambling. Maybe you should relax, Monica. Monica. Mo I can't read today. Maybe you should mind your own business, Marco. I don't mean to. I don't mean to be rude, Monica, but I am interested in what the others have to say. For example, Marco, do you have any plans for anniversary? Actually, uh, are we really talking about the news right now? Natsuki struts in with an over exaggerated, almost hypnotic sway. She steals me. Uh, she steals me. <laughs> she steals me. <laughs> she steals mine from away as she makes a big show of her entrance. I hate when you guys rub it in that you're seniors and stuff. Like, I get it, god, it's not my fault I got held back in the fourth grade, okay? No one's trying to make you feel bad about being held back, Nat. Except me, ha. Huh? Feel bad. Monica. Nasuke suits and no it look my way as I sign on to her to brush it off. By the way, Nat, guess who's with us? Oh great, it's Yuri. Hi Yuri. Hello. The club goes on as we remember those moments from the old days of the club. Trying to distract everyone, I jump back into the conversation that was interrupted by Natsuki's sudden presence. In any case, I'm still thinking about it. Do you have any idea what program you want to study in? I was thinking of business communications actually. You in business communications? You can barely talk to a boardroom of the four girls, let alone a boardroom of in face. <laughs> Jesus, Marco. Mar 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 Did I said Marco? That's, that's not even a name, Marco. <laughs> I think I need some sleep because it's literally 12 am right now and I have work tomorrow. 
our university has a wonderful communication program if you're interested. My mind pounds on the idea of going to an university with you did. It does have a certain appeal to it. It's nice to have someone I know to lead on when I'm out there in the wild. However, I'm distracted as, as Natsuki's violent foot tapping makes itself known, known quite, quite quickly. You've got something to add, Natsuki? No. It's fine to fill uh, an access when I'm talking about the future. Natsuki, I do suggest you to listen to this, especially since you'll have to think about it soon. I'm good. If that's what you want. As Sayuri and Yuri begin discussing Sayuri's scary lack of any university plans, Natsuki continuously gestures to me. Her active and energetic hand movement under me, even if I understand nothing of what she's trying to communicate. I shake my head and put on a quickly expression. She annoyedly turns her head as she leans in to whisper to me. Can you walk me home today? Hey yo. What do you mean by that, Natsuki? Do do you do you want that? Do do you want do you want the phone? I see you want the phone. why? Just be grateful, I ask you, virgin Natsuki. Giving her a serious look, she immediately surrenders to me. Why is no one cutting me any slack today? Me and Kazu are a bit on the outs right now, and I kinda don't want to walk home alone. A part of me wants to reject the idea, because walking alone with Natsuki seems like an easy way to dis decimate by self-confidence. But... Spending time with her doesn't sound so bad. Winding my option, I eventually nod and accept her request. Now works her charms once more. You have to make up for all the stuff you don't have, after all. What's that supposed to mean? I rub on my flat says and pat it down a little bit. You crab hole. <laughs> See? She leaps onto me and starts trying to tear away my very personally ground threads. Get off me. Now until you apologize. What are they doing? Don't mind them, they is just flirting. That looks more like a graffitated assault. Well, you know Marco. Right he he likes his girls with some spice. Nice. Why do you keep telling everyone this? <laughs> One fun conversation with Yuri and totally destroyed cake later. I tell Sayori the plan for today and she needs her encouragement. Natsuki and I walk out of the club on oh my god that, that would unceremoniously leaving the others to clean up after us. However, the walk out seems slower than ever. Each step I take finds a place to reside in the cram cram Perfect English of my memory. My heart sinks into my chest as each step she takes stumps in down. Once we step outside, the summer sun flares up at us. Each top of sweet that tears away from our skin pushes us to walk faster than we need to. Okay, that is nice. That animation, that walk animation is just amazing. Good job, Jay. <laughs> Another point for you. <laughs> Why am I acting like I can't speak to girls in the first place? I did Sayuri for like a month. And is this Natsuki anyway? Like, are you a virgin? Huh? I know I called you a virgin before as a joke, but I was wondering. Are you actually a virgin? That's a way to start a conversation. Mess. Miss. Don't make it weird, Marco. It's already weird, Natsuki. Just answer the damn question. If I recall correctly, yes, I have not participated in any form of funny. How can you not recall something like that? Uh, juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I, I won't worry about it. Not see with her eyes, and for some odd reason, leans into me, making sure to touch me as much as possible. Natsuki, you funny girl, you you funny girl. Normally I'd pull away, but 
also, why will I? What about you? Are you a virgin? Why do you think you can ask me that? Because you did. Oh, valid. <laughs> nope, I'm not. The cool one swoops forward, dragging a few of the first autumn leaves towards me and then took it. A crunch fills the air as she steps on, on one of the leaves in her path. Huh. Are you surprised? Yeah, I'd say so. I didn't expect you to be... Funnily active. <laughs> I don't think funnily is even a word, but funnily active. Holy crap, are you calling me a... Funny? <laughs> no, not at all. It's obviously normal. Absolutely normal, obviously. Nice back pedal there, bro. And then our side unable to keep keep up with Nat's complicated mental gym gymnastics. Surprisingly, I feel a netty tug on my arm as Natsuki has taken the opportunity to wrap her arm around mine. The surprises keep pulling up on each other today, it seems. If you don't mind me asking, who was your first time? Was it Kazuya? Dude. We've been dating for like a month. He isn't getting the keys to the kingdom that quickly. No, it was, um, it was Ryan. Oh my god, that vine freaking scared me. Ryan? Who is Ryan? Am I supposed to know who he is? Oh, when did that happen? You're really prying today, huh? You're the one who started this. She tugs on my arm ever tighter than before and all rocking slows down to match up pace. You have to know, it happened in the summer. I see. And then Kazuya? Then Kazuya asked me out. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. Eventful summer, huh? You can say that. So you had funny with a guy and then start a relationship with another guy now we're back to you calling me a uh, funny i didn't say anything i was just trying to rub my heart around it that's all right i'm serious not sick i never think ill of you like that totally the one slices itself as i stop the both of us i'm serious you're my friend friends don't think that of each other Bleh, you're so cheesy. Don't act like your heart didn't skip a beat. I did not. I did not. Shut up. My laughing echoes throughout the vacant park of Vash vacant ah. While she cleans onto my arm once more to continue our walk home. Her hold grows loser while the wine picks up its pace once more. However, the brace doesn't scorch the ground. Rather, it calls the spirits as the fall picks its head. Hey, Marco? The wrestling of the win wind signs a him that un underpins our upcoming conversation. Yeah? I'm going to say something and you need to not act weird about it, okay? Uh, sure, shoot. Yeah, shoot me. <laughs> no, acting weird, because I know you not so good to say it. Okay, so this has been my mind for a while, and I've really wanted to tell you this. What is it? I used to have a cross on you a year ago. Yo. Hey, hey, Marco. You should take it. Just take it. Look at Natsuki. She's a bad funny. Uh, you need to date her right now. You know when you first came to the club? The autumn leaves fall to the ground, poses aside by the wayward winds. An empty bus drives away from the decaying bus stop, signaling the end of the normal school day. Natsuki looks to the ground. She goes out of her way to cross every leaf on our path, seemingly trying to calm herself down. A smile comes onto me and I succumb to this new feeling of self-satisfaction. 
I look to her, ready to finally give my response. Yeah, I know. What? I know. What do you mean, you know? Of course I knew you were into me. How? You came over to bake cookies for the festival, and then I pinned you to the wall, and you were like, Oh, Marco Kuhn. And then I licked the frosting of your finger, and then we almost kissed. What do you think I am? Uh, mentally <laughs> def deficient? But Nasty could pulls herself away from me. Then what? Why were you not into me? Oh no, I thought he was. Then why did you date Sayer right after all that happened? That's that's complicated. She <laughs> was going through a rough time and the truth is I loved Sayer so I thought that dating her would make both of us happy. But I ended up realizing that I didn't exactly love Sayer in that way. And you dumped her? Oh, I can't do something like that to save my life. No, we just mutually and then luckily she realized the same thing I did. So we decided that being friends helped us more than being whatever we were for that month. And you sure that she felt the same way? That's what she told me. Afterwards, I just never get, uh, never got around to try things out with you. There were too many moving pieces. Plus, I wasn't sure you were still into me. She drags herself slowly back to me, rubbing her arm around me once more. Well, I was not anymore. I'm dating Kazuya Marco nowadays, I still... Crap, you're making me all s sappy and crap. <laughs> I still like being around you, but it's more like you're my senpai. I'm your... what? <laughs> you're, my, you're my senpai, Ubu. Uh, okay, never say that again, Marco. Stop. Did you say that entirely... Unuradically? Well, you're my upperclassman and, and that technically makes you my senpai. We don't live in Japan, we can't say that. You've been reading way too much manga. Not really, but okay. She shakes her head and finally releases me from her on and off grip. With her Tom, she points to the large house across the street, telling me that it's hers. Wow, that was quick. Thinking about our virginities was fun and we should do this more often. Don't get all clinchy on me, Marco. That's Kazuya's job, right? Right. She slowly walks away, turning her back to me. Before she makes makes much distance, I call out her name one more time. My call is accompanied by the crunch of one more dead autumn leaf. A centrudating or a cantunating state? I don't know. What's up, man? Can I tell you a secret? Since we're out here bearing all souls to each other already, I don't see why not. I I saw a, a cross lob in my throat of five years of build up insecurity tries to claw its way out. I never thought that anyone would really find me attractive. What about Sayuri? Sayuri doesn't count. Don't think it laughs incredulously, but Donna's mood doesn't fade. I said I knew that you were into me, but I really didn't. So, thanks for telling me. Jeez, you sure you sound like a sad puppy who finally got to play the plate of food. I find myself muttering under my brief, more like a sad huge dog with muscles and crap. Okay, okay. Well, well, don't tell anybody I said this because I will kill you if you do. I've got a reputation to keep. People can't know I'm being all nice and stuff. But you're you're a handsome guy. You're sweet. You're a good listener. Any girl will be lucky to have you. Well, that doesn't happen in real life to me, sadly. <laughs> I feel a smile come on, come on as the autumn breeze finally takes over. Thanks. No problem, you doofus. See, you don't always have to be such a girl. <laughs> don't worry the moment. See you tomorrow morning. Well, else am I gonna get my home homework for from? I laugh and turn away, ready right to head back to my house. Suddenly, I hear a loud cough coming from her direction. Turning back around to face her, I see her with her arms outstretched, out inviting me into her heart once more. You know, Natsuki. You were never this 
touch you before. Just give me the damn hug, you loser, if you insist. I approach her and wrap my arms around her, pulling her into me. Oh, look at the hugging. The hugging. Marco, yeah. Call me Ned. It's, it's short. Fitting. <laughs> Instead of all of the expected punch to the gut, I receive a cute giggle. She pulls away from the hug and with a small wave she finally heads back into her house. Am I stupid for thinking that there may be more more to this conversation than she's letting on? I don't want to make any assumptions and make it fool of myself, but I can't help seeing an awkward trend for me. Oh well, that's a problem for future me to handle. I tell future me he'll probably make sure everything is okay. Doki Doki Triple Trouble. Let's do bad thing. October 3rd, second month of senior year. Well, guys, I think I need to end the video right here. Sorry, I know, I know, I showed you more, but I have work tomorrow and I only have like five hours of sleep. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this was actually a pretty interesting um, mod so far, and um, pro props props to Jay for making this awesome mod. Good job. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to play this mod, the well, the link will be down in the description. You know, just go download it. And also, his channel. J channel will be also down in the description so make sure to subscribe to him right don't unsubscribe thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next one bye, -bye.